There are 105 teams that play in the United Kingdom on FIFA 23. And today we're going to be putting them head to head to see who can take over the entire geography of the United Kingdom. Get ready for a 105 team full UK imperialism video. Oh, what am I getting myself into? So as you can see here, we've got a full map of the United Kingdom with teams in their respective areas. We've done every Premier League club, every championship club, every Every League One club, every League Two club, every like every Welsh team. I've even included Wrexham, and we've decided to head up to Scotland as well. I've got all the Scottish teams in here as well. This map literally took me eight hours to make on Friday night, so yeah, it's 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 gonna be a long one. I mean, just look how chock a block the wheel is. But if you guys didn't see our Premier League imperialism video, I'm gonna briefly explain the rules. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna spin the wheel, whatever team it lands on, and in this case, it's gonna gonna be Fulham. No, it's gonna be Leeds. It's gonna be Leeds. So for this example round, we would have Leeds United. Then we would go across to the directions. I promise you guys, I'm gonna make sure I get the directions right this time. We would have West. So Leeds United are over here. In this case, they would be going to the West, which means they would be taking on Bradford City. And basically if Leeds United beat Bradford City, they would occupy this land. They would take over this land. So basically this would all become Leeds United's. And in the process, they take their best player. So for a team like Leeds, getting a Bradford best player isn't that insane, but if like a lower league club beats like a Man United, that could change the game. We've also got a lot, of, a lot of like areas that are unoccupied as you can see. So let's say for example, we get Swansea City drawn up and they get a North. If Swansea City get a North, then they're going to occupy this land here and what also is going to happen is their best player is going to get a plus two overall upgrade. Now, I went through last night and had a look at the comment section of the previous Premier League imperialism video to get a few ideas of changes we could make to this video. And I've got to say a massive thank you to you guys for leaving all your suggestions. I was genuinely blown away by the in-depth comments we had on the last video. One change we're going to make, though, is... No longer can a new transferred player get the upgrade. So let's say, for example, let's say deep down the line, Swansea, they've already taken over a few teams. Let's say they go and get themselves Kevin De Bruyne. Instead of Kevin De Bruyne getting the upgrade going from 91 to 93, we're going to have Swansea's best player go from, what, 75 to 77 or something like that, rather than having like a 99 rated Wilfred Zaha on every Premier League team like we did last time. Also, a little minor change I'm going to have is the attacking team will be the away team. I thought it was a really insightful comment from one of you guys who said, basically, let's say, for example, Forest versus Derby, but it's Forest that are attacking. In the last video, it would have been Forest's home ground, but I'm actually going to change it so it would be Derby's home game because it would make sense. Like, they're coming into Derby's territory trying to take it over, so Derby's trying to defend their home turf. And I know there's not as many white areas as there was last episode. Like, literally the entirety of England was white, but for, like, especially these areas in Wales and Scotland, let's say, for example, like, this area here, last time we had a lot of white areas left over. I'm going to say that if you occupy, like, if you surround a white area, that's going to become your and you're going to get an extra two upgrade to that player. So things could really get chaotic here. So let's say again, let's say Swansea get this area here and they go north again and they take this area. They're automatically going to take this area here. So they could go like three turns, have like a six overall. Just like last time though, keep watching the video. If you don't understand, you'll get the hang of it pretty quickly. It's a pretty simple but extraordinarily fun idea. And again, let me know if you want me to continue this series because I've had some pretty cool ideas about what we could do. I've, I'm thinking we might do like a couple of the big countries and then if the the series is still doing well. I'm debating doing a like 700 team entirety of FIFA global imperialism. Like, yeah, yeah, that might be stupid on my behalf, but I'm debating it. Regardless though, let's get into it. God damn, I'm getting, I'm going blind from that spinning wheel so fast. But the first cab off the rank, is it going to be West Brom or is it going to be Wigan? It is going to be West Brom. All right, what's West Brom going to be doing? West Brom are going to be heading. It looks like they're going to be heading east. Where's West Brom on the map? They're in the Midlands somewhere. There they are. Again, also don't attack. Some people get really upset last video with like the exact placements. No, I'm not going to place every team exactly where they are. If they're in their county, like all these teams here are in the West Midlands County. So I've kind of just evenly like split up the groups depending on where their stadiums are in the county. So don't get butt hurt. Regardless, we had West Brom heading east. So considering like the top half is there, I'm going to have West Brom are attacking Aston Villa, the team that came second in our Premier League imperialism video. Okay, as you can see, I'm controlling both teams. 
We've got West Brom attacking Aston Villa to take over Villa Park. Who is going to have the first bit of success in today's video? It's going to be Aston Villa. West Brom are eliminated. So there we go, lads. West Brom attack Aston Villa. Aston Villa take over their land. So last episode's runners up have already got themselves off to a good start. Also, I did see a few people say that like the team attacking, like so let's say Aston Villa were the defenders on that. They won that. I saw a few people saying they should just get to keep their land and West, like you can only take over land if you attack. But in a 105 team video, that would mean this video would literally take seven days to record. So allow it lads, allow it. And we've got a three way tie for who the best West Brom player is who can go to Aston Villa. So we're gonna go to the wheel once again to decide which player is headed to Aston Villa. And it looks like it's gonna be Swift. Is it Swift? Yeah, it's Swift. So Swift is officially an Aston Villa player. Not sure if he's gonna make their starting lineup or even their bench, but it's rules are rules. West Brom are gone and the next team up is going to be, is it gonna be Stoke City? It's gonna be Sheffield United and Sheffield United will be attacking South East. All right, are we gonna claim Mansfield or are we gonna claim, I'm gonna say Mansfield because Nottingham Forest and Sheffield United don't share a border. So South East is technically right there. So it's gonna be Sheffield United attacking at Mansfield Town. Not gonna lie lads, I would love if Mansfield Town got the result here. I really want one of the League Two clubs to go on a run. And if they can get a win here and get themselves a nice upgrade, that would be phenomenal. But Sheffield United looking to take over some land and they're gonna do just that. Sheffield United have eliminated Mansfield Town. Big chunk of land there for Sheffield United. Very interested to see what this map is gonna look like in like an hour's time. I'm not even gonna bother going through the wheel for this one, no offense. Like a 65 rated player is not gonna make much of a change to Sheffield United. So we're just gonna go for the top player. Oats is now a blade. Come on, give us one of the big teams. I want some big scalpings to happen here. Is it gonna be Norwich City? I think it's gonna be, yeah, the Canaries. Norwich occupy a massive chunk of land. So this could be a huge like visual advantage for somebody here, Southwest. So Norwich share their borders with Ipswich Town and Peterborough United. So Southwest is gonna be Peterborough United here. Is that, yeah, I'm gonna say it's really close between them and Ipswich, but it's gonna be Peterborough United. I'm gonna be cheering on the underdog the entire video long. Peterborough, come on lads, defend home turf, take down Norwich, come on. It's a one all draw, we're heading to a second leg. Second leg here at Carrow Road. What is the scoreline going to be? It is a 3-1 win for Norwich City, unfortunately. Clark Harris, I don't think he's gonna be playing much behind Timu Puki, but he's gonna be making his move up to the championship. Norwich, a lot of green on this map already. It looks it looks nice, to be fair, it looks nice. Only 102 teams remain. Are we gonna get, we've only had English teams so far, and that trend is going to continue. It's Accrington Stanley. Again, I would love for like a team like Accrington Stanley to get a couple of big knockoffs and just climb their way up. Accrington Stanley are heading north. Okay, Accrington Stanley in Lancashire here. Also, I know some people are gonna be angry that I've just divided Lancashire like this. It's not that deep, bro. Regardless though, they're gonna be taking on Harrogate Town. Look how much space is on offer here. It's one of the lowest rated teams in FIFA. Harrogate Town versus, versus League One Accrington Stanley. Who's gonna come away with the bickies here? And the player, it is Accrington taking over Harrogate territory. We do have a three-way tie here in terms of players. So I'm gonna put the wheel because they might be a crucial upgrade and it's gonna be Armstrong heading to Accrington Stanley. Armstrong is the 64 rated striker. So he might be a nice upgrade, I don't know. Didn't expect to be see Accrington Stanley dominating this much of English football. Or oh, is it gonna be Rochdale or Salford City? It is gonna be Rochdale. Rochdale will be attacking to the south. Oh, Rochdale. Are we saying that that's Liverpool, Everton, Wigan, or Bolton? They own so much here of this area. Directly in the middle though, I'm gonna say it's Bolton. Actually, they do own more area down here. Let's say it's gonna be Wigan. Again though, don't attack me because I know these situations get kind of awkward because it's like unconventional shapes. So I'm just saying like the midpoint is gonna be around here, which is gonna be Wigan to the south. A League Two side attacking a championship side here. 
A lot on the line if your name is Rochdale. Here we go. The score line. It's going to be a 2 0 win for Wigan. Please just give us one upset, FIFA. So E Banks Landall is going to be headed up to the championship, headed to Wigan Athletic. I mean, given how bad they've been in the, in the championship this year, he might end up being an upgrade for them. And there we go. Wigan Athletic getting a bigger piece of the pie. Derby County. Here we go. Derby County will be attacking to the north. So it's going to be Derby County attacking. Attacking at Sheffield United, a team that's already proven their worth. This is a big one. Sheffield United already with an upgrade of Oates to their side, but he wasn't good enough to make the starting 11. Will Sheffield United survive yet another attack? The scoreline is going to be a 2-0 win. Sheffield United emerging as the best team so far. Oh my god, we have got a lot of players to choose from here. I'd, honestly, I don't think any of them are going to make the starting 11 for Sheffield United. So let's just go with... Actually, no, let's, let's, let's stick to the rules and go with the wheel. And the player... Heading to Sheffield United is going to be Mendez Lang. Damn it, I can't change this one without, like, all the black turning into red. Making life tough for me here, Derby County. You're going to have to do this one manually. Next up, oh, I thought it was going to be Tottenham for a second, but is it going to be Burnley or Bristol City? It is going to be Bristol City. I feel like we've only been hanging around the middle of the country, to be totally honest, but Bristol City are going to be heading southwest. At least we're headed a little bit here down to the bottom of the country. Brest Bristol City southwest. I mean, that's south there. Southwest is right there. So they're going to get the first upgrade of the video. Never thought we'd see the day. Bristol City, go take your land, my friends. So Bristol City's highest rated player is their striker, Andreas Weimann. I believe he's Austrian. He used to play for Aston Villa, I'm pretty sure. He is now 75 rated. Surprised it took that long for us to have an upgrade in this video. Regardless, though, back to the board. Oh, we're going to have one of the big boys. Is it going to be City or Liverpool? It's going to be Liverpool. I hope we have a big game here. Or in a dream scenario a small team takes on Liverpool and eliminates them Liverpool are gonna be heading northeast oh shit it's gonna be Wigan Athletic doesn't it north is there northeast is there that would be east right there northeast yeah we're going Wigan Athletic Liverpool attacking Wigan I have decided to watch this game though I want to see if Wigan can defend home turf and get a massive upset in the meantime oh god Liverpool just look phenomenal here Mo Salah in the box already. Mo Salah goes to Darwin Nunez. And it's already 1-0 to Liverpool. Oh, that hurts the soul. Come on, Wigan. Please get a goal back. Robertson to swing it in here. Get it away. Get it away, Wigan. It's going to be going out here. They're going to have a long shot. That is a rocket from Cody Gakpo. Was it Gakpo or was it Thiago? It's Gakpo. He's made it 2-0 Liverpool. That was a rocket. Oh, no. No, no. Oh, it's 3-0. This is a murder. This is a murder. Nah, nah, it's 4-0. Wigan, you're killing me. Oh, this is 4-0. Come on, Wigan. Oh, why aren't you shooting it there? Oh, Wigan, you are killing me. They were the better side in that second half, but... Wigan Athletic have been invaded by Liverpool. That doesn't really mean much to Liverpool if we're being totally honest, but congratulations, you guys get Stephen Corker and Wigan's land. I know there's going to be comments saying like, Jared, like the big teams are going to destroy the small teams every time if you don't give more upgrades for this, but that's what comes with it. Like the best way for smaller teams to do well is by either getting land or just getting wins against smaller teams and getting upgrades to their team. So... I mean, I'm not trying to, I'm just trying to make this have a fair outcome. I'm not trying to make it be like every team has a chance. It's like whatever happens, happens, you know? Next team up to bat is going to be Doncaster. West, they're going to head west. Doncaster are heading west. All right, I'm going to say west is Barnsley because like Rotherham's more southwest. So we're going to say Doncaster attacking at Barnsley. All right, here we go, lads. Doncaster trying to take over Barnsley's territory. This would be a nice scalp. Like for these League 2 teams... To be facing a League One side is probably ideal to begin with because if they win this, they're going to get a nice upgrade. And if they, if a smaller team like Doncaster can string that together, this could be phenomenal for them. But they're not going to get the opportunity to. Barnsley beat them 2-0. Three-way tie again for Doncaster's best player. They're all 64 rated, but it is going to be Molyneux, I believe that is, heading to Barnsley. I have no idea if he's going to be an upgrade or not, but he's going to join them regardless. I want somebody. Oh, we're going to have one of the Scottish teams. I was about to say, I wanted some Scottish action. We're going to have Aberdeen. There's an opportunity for a Scottish team to do serious damage if they can beat some teams and then get a lot of the unclaimed territory. Aberdeen are heading southwest. So we're going to go all the way up to Scotland here. Aberdeen in this top corner. They're going to be taking on St. Johnson here. South 
West is John St. Johnson. All right, the first Scottish battle in this video. St. Johnson trying to defend the homeland against Aberdeen and the scoreline's gonna be St. Johnson taking over the land as they take down Aberdeen 2-1. So Gorta, the goalkeeper, is their highest rated player. He's headed to St. Johnson. In my opinion, there's a big opportunity for St. Johnson to get some serious work done because let's say like they've got this area here. That means if they beat, if they end up versing Ross County and beat them, they'll also get Ross County's best player and they'll take this area for an upgrade. But if they can head themselves like uh, west, there's a lot of land up for grabs here. So Aberdeenshire is going to be St. Johnson's now. They have Perth and Aberdeenshire. Oh shoot, are we gonna have Portsmouth? No, we're gonna have Sheffield Wednesday. And Sheffield Wednesday will be heading south. All right, scrolling back down into England. I see you, oh, oh, Sheffield Wednesday are gonna have Sheffield United here. It is a Sheffield derby, let's go. Sheffield United by far the most active team in this video so far, but will they keep their area or will Sheffield Wednesday control the area? It is going to be a one all draw. Second leg here away, Sheffield Wednesday, the home team this time. And the scoreline is a 3-1 win. Sheffield United stay alive. So it's going to be Barry Bannan. That is actually a big one. Barry Bannan jumping across city lines and heading to Sheffield United. But lads, if you are enjoying this video so far and you aren't already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below on the push towards 500,000 subscribers. So come join us if you already haven't. Just another area overtaken here by the Blades. Oh, is it gonna be Wrexham? It's gonna be Wrexham. That's huge. Ryan Reynolds team up for the first time in today's video. I think if they had like West, or even south, they are a chance of getting a player upgrade, but they're gonna be heading north. Yeah, that's gotta be Crew Alexandra. I was debating whether that's that area there, but that comes over there. They're gonna be trying to take over a little bit of English territory here. In my opinion, you could genuinely make a case for the Welsh teams being the most important teams in this video because there is just so much unclaimed area to the left, like in Wales. So there are some real opportunities. If like Crew Alexandra can beat Wrexham and they keep heading into Wales territory, they could have a stacked team. But Wrexham AFC trying to attack Crew Alexandra and they're gonna win Paul Mullen getting himself a brace and taking over Crew Alexandra territory. In areas where I already know like the position's not necessary, like I already know that Wrexham, it's not gonna be good for them to get a striker. So we're gonna have McDonald heading to Wrexham. 64 rated, but could be a decent shout. Wrexham taking over this area though is kind of dangerous because now it means that they are like, they are able to be attacked by a lot more teams. They're able to be attacked by Stockport, Port Vale, Shrewsbury, but as the map continues to diverge, that could be Manchester United, that could be Wolves, like, you know what I mean? We're heading to the championship, and are we gonna have Rotherham United? We are gonna have Rotherham United. Rotherham are going to be heading, is it gonna be Northwest or North? It is gonna be Northwest. So Rotherham are going to be taking on Barnsley. Barnsley already with a victory to their name. They've already defended home turf. Let's see if they can get another upgrade to their squad. Like this is exactly what they need. They're gonna be punching up. If they can get a player from the championship to come down to them, that could be very good for them long term. And it's going to, but it's not gonna be the case. Rotherham take down Barnsley 1 0. So the center half, Anderson, heading up to the championship. 69 rated is not bad. That could help Rotherham at some point in this video. Come on, I'm sick of these small teams getting a chance. I want to have some big teams, although it could happen because we're in the Manchester region. Stevenage, though, I thought we were about to be in Stockport County. I'm pretty sure Stevenage are surrounded by teams. So who are they going to be facing? They're going to be heading southwest, which means I believe they're going to be facing Watford here. South. West, yeah, Watford. On paper, you would think Stevenage are about to get absolutely destroyed here by Watford, but it would be a massive scalp if Stevenage could take over Vicarage Road here and take over Watford, but it is not gonna be the case. It is a domination as predicted with Watford winning. Look, let's be real, neither of these guys are gonna make the starting 11 for Watford, so I'm just gonna straight up give the top guy Forster Karski to Watford. Still no teams from London that have been selected either. That is quite interesting. Are Watford gonna be up again? No, it's gonna be, no wait, is it gonna be Bolton? 
No, it's Accrington Stanley in the fire once again. If they head north and they're versing Middlesbrough maybe, then that could be very interesting. A lot of land for them, but they're gonna be heading the opposite direction almost, southwest. Oh, this is so confusing because they have this corridor here and they have all of this. Oh my God. Does Southwest count as Leeds or does it count as Liverpool? Or does it count as Huddersfield? I'm gonna stay true to what I've been doing all video long. The middle of the territory is where I'm going my directions from. So we're gonna say Accrington Stanley are gonna be trying to take over Leeds United. Accrington Stanley, if they can get a result here, that would be monumental. They do have one of their upgraded players in Armstrong up top from Harrogate Town. So it'd be quite funny if he could do something. Regardless though, Try to take over Leeds, but it's not going to be successful. God damn it, Accrington. I really wanted that to happen. Just one upset is going to change the landscape of this completely, though, I feel. So McConville, their best player, 67 rated, headed to Leeds United. Where are you? There you are. Look how much land Leeds United just got their hands on. Big opportunity for them. If they just keep heading north and north, they could even, like, these northern English teams have a real chance to push into Scotland and have, just go berserk. Like, I think for the sort of smaller non-premier league or smaller premier league teams if you can push your way into wales or scotland there's a real chance for you to really have it like really grow your teams forest green rovers or ipswich town it's going to be forest green rovers if they can head west that's going to be really clutch for them what's it going to be a forest green going to get themselves an upgrade i think they are they're going to be heading northwest they're not even going to head into Sc into wales yet they're going to take this little county here in england but still that is going to be an upgrade for Forest Green Rovers. So they have three players that are 65 rated. Brown, Becky Yoko, and O'Keefe. So we're getting the wheel involved, lads. Who's gonna get the plus two upgrade and go up to a 67? They wanted to be Becky Yoko, but they've been stitched up. It's their right back. O'Keefe, if they head into Welsh territory, could find himself being a world-class footballer very quickly. I mean, if you're Forest Green, you're kind of hoping your name comes up again here, but Oh my God, I thought it was them for a second, but it's gonna be Leighton Orion. Is that gonna be our first London club? So yeah, no surprise. They are absolutely just surrounded by teams, but they're gonna be heading to the west of London. Leighton Orion heading directly west here and they're taking on Arsenal. Oh, please, Leighton Orion, please. If Leighton Orion managed to take down Arsenal here and take over their territory, that could be monumental. Oh no, oh no, they've already got the lead. They've already got the lead. Martinelli, five minutes in, this could get brutal again. They're passing it around here and Erdegaard's gonna make it 2-0. I know I'm supposed to be impartial and non-biased, but I really want Leighton Orient to win just for the upset. Erdegaard playing that one to Trossard, who goes to Jesus, and Jesus is going to confirm the result. It is going to be a 3-0 victory for Arsenal. Congratulations, Arsenal. You now get yourselves peace smite. I love how Arsenal win that, and they still look so tiny on the map because of how condensed London is. I want some more Scottish football action happening here. It's not going to be, though. It's gonna be AFC Wimbledon. Yeah, we're heading to London once again. I think Wimbledon might be in contention for that unclaimed piece of land if they head Southwest, but it's not gonna be. They're gonna be heading East. Yes, so it's going to be AFC Wimbledon taking on Millwall. This could arguably be one of the most hostile takeovers we're going to have in this video. I'm sure the Millwall faithful will not take too kindly to AFC Wimbledon fans trying to invade their territory. But here we go. Another battle inside of London and it's going to be a draw in the first leg. So here we go. Second leg away in Wimbledon and the scoreline is a win for Wimbledon. Wimbledon have taken over Millwall in arguably the biggest upset of the video so far. A League Two side taking out a championship opposition. So there we go, Fleming is about to join AFC Wimbledon. That is gonna be massive for them. We've had two London matchups in a row. Are we gonna make it three? It looks like it's gonna be the South Coast here as Portsmouth are up to bat. Are we gonna get a Southampton versus Portsmouth derby? The game is going to be southeast. Are we counting Crawley Town or are we going to have to re-spin? Because technically, I think southeast is the ocean, so we're going to re-spin. I think this is the first time we've actually been in the south coast for this entire video, but we're going to be heading north or northeast? We're heading north. Portsmouth could have really done with that being northeast. They would have got this unclaimed territory here, but they're going to be facing Reading. This could be a massive scalping here for Portsmouth, for Pompey, if they're able to head north and take Reading out of the competition. 
The scoreline is going to be a 2-1 win, though, for Reading, who are now going to dominate that area or control that area of the South Coast, which means the centre-half, Bernard, is now headed up to the championship, heading to Reading. Wrexham, are they up again? Wrexham! They are! This could be huge for them. If you're Wrexham right now, you want to be heading any direction that is west, but it's not. They're going to be heading north or northeast. They're going to be heading north. Wrexham are going to be heading north, taking on Stockport County. They're going to be in danger, though, if they cannot... If they get the win here, they don't want to be heading any further north for a while. Wrexham have already attacked one area and taken a player in McDonald from Crew Alexandra. Are they going to take another player, or will Stockport get a huge chunk of land and an opportunity to have all of Wales? We're going to have to go to a second leg to find out. Second leg at the race course ground here against Stockport County, and it is going to be Stockport with the 3-0 win a massive upset and Stockport may emerge as a new dark horse in this video. Is it going to be Paul Mullen having to go to... Paul Mullen, yeah! Paul Mullen's going to be heading to Stockport. That is hilarious. That's actually massive for them as well. Paul Mullen, a Stockport County player in this video. How much land they're about to take up. That gives like that gives a massive opportunity, Stockport, because if they can like keep getting draws and they keep heading west... Paul Mullen could become an absolute stud. But on the flip side, they really don't want Man United, Liverpool, like these sort of teams to get drawn because they could seriously be in trouble. We're heading, oh my God, go. Oh, it's, I thought we are going to get an old firm opportunity, but it's hearts. We're headed to Scotland again. It's been a hot minute since we've had some Scottish football in this video, but hearts are going to be heading west. I don't think it should come as any surprise to you guys that I kind of want hearts to do well, given the amount of Australians they have in their squad. But... North, East, South, West, they're going to be taking on Livingston. Can the Aussie contingent at Hearts take over Livingston? They're on the road, traveling West, and the scoreline is going to be a 2-1 win there for Hearts. They're going to take over Livingston. <laughs> they're going to have two Devlins on the on this Hearts team, and Devlin is going to be take, taking his talents to join Cammy Devlin. Nice to get Hearts out of that little corridor of Edinburgh. Make, make it a little bit bigger for them. All right, we've got a Premier League side here. Is it going to be Everton or is it going to be Fulham? It is going to be my favorite club, Fulham. This is going to be very interesting. Of course, I would love if Fulham could take over the United Kingdom. Fulham are going to be heading south. Is that going to be Crystal Palace? No, it is not. It is going to be AFC Wimbledon, lads. Fulham versus Wimbledon. I gave Palace like proper south of London. Wimbledon, of course, have that Fleming guy. If they can get a shock result here against Fulham, that's going to do them massively. I mean, of course, I don't want... This is the one time I don't want there to be an upset. I want Fulham to come away and have Fleming on their team. And that is exactly what happens. Williams going to get himself a brace. Fulham take over a huge chunk of London, and we're going to be getting that Fleming guy. All things considered, to be getting a 74 rated player from a League 2 outfit, that's not a bad return, although he's probably not going to ever get game time here for Fulham. Oh, this is a massive one. Swansea City. They could be getting a lot of upgrades in this video. Swansea City, like I showed in the example, they want to be kind of going south or southwest. Sorry, northwest, I should be saying. They might get it. Are they going to get northwest? Oh, it's right on the cusp, but they head west. I mean, it kind of works out to be the same because they take, like, that's west for them and that's also northwest. So if you're Swansea, you want to be going north and then automatically you get that area there. So it has been a hot minute, but Swansea City are going to be taking a large chunk of land and are going to get an upgrade to their highest rated player. They've got two players here that are 73 rated, Piro or Grimes. To the wheel we go. Who's going to be getting themselves up to a 75 overall? It is going to be Piro. Are we going to see him turn into one of the world's best strikers? A Premier League team again. Is it going to be Tottenham or is it going to be West Ham? It is going to be West Ham United. Nice to see West Ham for the first time in today's video, but West Ham, the Hammers are going to be heading southeast. All right, because of that little section there, we're going to say they're going to be taking on Gillingham. It's Premier League versus League Two. Come on, get ourselves an upset. I want to see Declan Rice in a Gillingham outfit, in a Gillingham outfit. The scoreline is a two-all draw. Oh, we're off to a second leg. Oh, damn it, Skamatsa. Skamatsa, Skamaka, how you pronounce it? And he keeps West Ham with their territory. Second leg, second leg, no! Ben Rama wins it in the 76th minute. Fair play though, Gillingham, Gillingham. You guys, 
have held your own. Regardless, your land is still being conquered. Respectfully to Nichols, I don't think West Ham United care that you play for them now, but still a good opportunity. The result might not have meant much, but it is a lot of land that now owns to West Ham United. Is it gonna be West Ham again? West Ham! have got themselves drawn for the second straight turn. And they're gonna be heading southwest, which I think is gonna be Brighton. Yeah, that's gotta be Brighton, doesn't it? Because, yeah, they don't touch land with Crawley, so it's gonna be a huge opportunity here. Brighton versus West Ham, an all Premier League clash. Brighton trying to defend the south coast here, but some big names up for grabs. Are we going to see Declan Rice in a Brighton jersey by the end of this matchup? The scoreline, no, I didn't mean to click that. All right, let's jump to the result. And it's going to be a draw. Paqueta could have won it there. All right, so we're heading to the London Stadium now. Who is going to win this land? It is going to be Ben Rama winning it for West Ham in the 78th minute. Their domination of this corner of England is going to continue. And that means, oh, we've got to do the draw. I was going to say a Stupanan. I saw a lot of people clowning me in the last video as well because I said he was Colombian. Allow it, lads. I think I was about eight hours into recording at that point. These videos, believe it or not, don't take a quick time to record and your boy isn't at 100% energy all the time. But who is it going to be joining West Ham United in this imperialism takeover? It is going to be the left back, Estupanan, joining West Ham. Another Premier League club, is it going to be? It, don't tell me it's going to be West Ham United again. Don't tell me it's West Ham United for the third successive spin. I swear, they could get themselves an upgrade because of that open area just below. London or just yeah, just below London. They're heading south east. I don't think they can head south east. No, they can't. They would be in the English Channel. Are West Ham heading west? They are. <laughs> if this was original, they would have been taken on Arsenal, but because they own all this land here, they're going to be taking on Colchester United. You lucky buggers. Come on, Colchester. Please. Please, please, please. League Two versus Premier League. Please, Colchester. Please. No. It's 3 0. Jared Bowen's gone. Oh, three wins in a row for Cole for our West Ham United, but they're going to get another player here that really doesn't do much for their team. These wins are more just about survival for their for teams like West Ham United. But I mean, despite not taking down too many big sides, they now own a lot of land and they've just taken over Essex. Next cab off the rank. Are we heading to Scotland again? We are. Is it going to be Ross County or is it going to be Kill? It's going to be Ross County, the northernmost team in this video. Where are they heading? I don't think they can head any further north. Yeah, northwest would be out here in the outer Hebrides, which I'm not making a land that you can grab. Are they heading southeast or south? They're heading southeast. Again, they can't go southeast. They'll go into the water. If they went east, they would have this unclaimed land, but they can't go southeast. Wait, did they get south? I think they got south. Wait, did they say southeast? Did I just have a mare? Yeah, they can go southeast. What am I talking about? I'm glad I connected the dots there. They can go southeast. They're going to be taking on St. Johnson. That was, I'm glad I caught that. Also, one thing I've just realized, whoever wins this game is going to get themselves a player and an upgrade because they will automatically claim this land here. So here we go. St. Johnson defending against Ross County. Gorta, the 71 rated goalkeeper might help them a lot, but this is a massive one. Our first double upgrade game. Who is going to be... The winner, it's going to be St. Johnson in resounding fashion. They're going to take all of this land. That is phenomenal. Ross County out of here. There's two 67 rated players from Ross County. Which one is it going to be? Danda? It's going to be Danda. And they're also going to take over this land because they have cornered it. And that also means their best player, Carey, is going to go from a 68 to a 70. Also, let me clarify. I know, like, he's 68 now 70, but Gorta, technically their highest rated player. But a reminder, he can't get an upgrade again because he's a transferred player. Of course, one of the new rules we brought in for today's video. Oh, we're going to have Port Vale just. Port Vale are heading northeast. They're going to be taking... Taking on Sheffield United. We haven't seen Sheffield United for a little while, but they have an opportunity here. Sheffield United sneakily, like if they keep heading, if they win this and they keep heading west, they could go berserk. Sheffield United defending home turf again. They've defended a lot in this video, but here we go. Taking on Port Vale and Port Vale have eliminated Sheffield United. That is a massive scalp, which I did not see coming. Oh my God, that is a massive scalp. And now Sander Burge is headed down to League One and he's going to be a Port Vale player. Okay, so everything I just said about uh, Sheffield United, change that to Port Vale now because they have got a decent amount of land. 
And I hope they keep going west. It's another Premier League game and it is gonna be Crystal Palace. Yes, and Crystal Palace are going to find themselves heading northeast, which means we're going to have another Premier League game here. It's going to be Crystal Palace versus West Ham United. West Ham trying to defend their land once again. If they can get another scalp here against a decent opposition, they're going to continue to improve themselves. They're going to be trying to get Wilfred Zaha here. And the scoreline, it's actually going to be Crystal Palace taking over from West Ham United, which I believe means Declan Rice is headed to Selhurst Park. Two of our early standout teams in Sheffield United and West Ham United, both out of this experiment, both out of the imperialism race, and Crystal Palace just got themselves a huge scalp. Crystal Palace have gone from having this little area of South London to literally the majority of the South Coast. That is, that is phenomenal. Well, South Coast isn't a fair say statement. Whoa, we'll say like the Southeast corner. Oh, it's gonna be Wolves. I thought it was gonna be Tottenham, it's Wolverhampton. Haven't been to the West Midlands in a hot minute. Not since the first game of the video, but Wolves are gonna be heading Northwest. And that's gonna be Burton Albion. Burton Albion having this whole little section here Wolves are going to be trying to take down Burton Albion. This game really doesn't mean much for Wolverhampton. This game's about survival for Wolves, but this could be huge for Burton Albion. Come on, give us another upset. Give us, ah, oh, it's a draw. Why are there so many draws? All right, second game away at the Molyneux. Who's going to be surviving? It is going to be Wolverhampton by the skin of their teeth. It does not mean much. I'm just going to send this guy here to Wolverhampton. Bristol City, is it? Or no, is it Barnsley? It's Bristol City. They've already had one upgrade. Can they get themselves another? For Bristol City, it's going to be Southwest. I think that might be an upgrade again. No, I was wrong. They're going to be taking on Exeter, but there's a chance that they keep heading Southwest that they can take this little corner here. All right, Bristol trying to take over Exeter's territory, and it is going to be a 2-1 win there for Bristol City once again getting themselves a further bit of territory. Exeter's best player is their striker Brown. No idea if he's any decent or not but he's going to be heading to Bristol regardless. It's another city. It's Bradford City. Bradford City are going to be heading southeast, which I believe is going to be Huddersfield. Rugby League Heartland here. The Bradford Bulls versus the Huddersfield Giants. Huddersfield are not having a great season in real life, but surely they're not going to lose to League 2 Bradford City. They've got an 80 rated goalkeeper for, for God's sake, but they're going to come away with the 2-0 win. So there we go. Smallwood's going to be headed to Huddersfield. A massive upgrade. MK Dons? Yeah. MK Dons are the next team up. I think we're all hoping they get to verse a big team and just get absolutely destroyed here though. Although I would like for them to verse a weaker side and kind of sacrifice themselves. They're heading southeast. So southeast of Milton Keynes, MK Dons never eat. Southeast is Luton Town. Am I the only Australian that like when you were brought up, the way I would figure out saying northeast, southwest is never eat soggy wheat bix. Am I, is that a universal Australian experience? All right, here we go. Milton Keynes heading southeast, trying to claim Luton territory who is going to survive. It is going to be Luton Town in easy fashion. You'll love to see it. Both centre-backs, both 67 overall. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to go O'Hara. It's good. I'm, there's no point doing the wheel when it's going to be the same result regardless. Laters, MK Dons, you will not be missed. Well, I want some Welsh teams to have a go here. I want some Welsh teams to get some categories. We're going to have, is it going to be Rangers or is it going to be Hearts again? It is going to be Hearts again. Heading back up to Scotland. A real opportunity here. They want to go see south and they're gonna go south so yeah hearts have this area and i'm gonna classify south as here because they have the majority of this left hand side of edinburgh and where livingston used to be so hearts are gonna get themselves an upgrade and get some more land on the board that's how scotland's currently looking i'm interested to see when the old firm derby can happen so the highest rated hearts player right now is currently Gordon, their goalkeeper, 74 rated. Now gets himself up to a 76. Are we heading to Scotland again? We are, this time it's gonna be, is it gonna be Hibs or St. Mirren? It's gonna be Hibs, the other side of Edinburgh. The main man, Marty Boyle in that side. Let's see what's gonna happen to Hibs here. They're gonna be heading south, which means we're gonna have a clash, an Edinburgh derby. It is Hearts versus Hibs. This game could be massive. Had to give this one a watch, lads. It's such a big game in terms of what it means. Even without this experiment, the Edinburgh Derby is huge, but we have so much on the line here. So much territory, some key players, and really this could decide who the biggest team in Scotland is 
in terms of like if this team can win, whichever team wins, if they keep heading south or southeast, they're going to be in a great spot with upgrades. Plus, to be honest, I have a real soft spot for Scottish football. Really enjoy watching it whenever I get the opportunity. It's just a fun league, to be honest. Robert Snodgrass going there to Shankland. Shankland to Robert Snodgrass. Robert Snodgrass with the skills. The Scotsman back healing it to Shankland. And it is Hearts who take the lead. 35 minutes into this Edinburgh derby. There we go. Hearts take down Hibs in a 1-0 result. That was an absolute grinder of a game. But Hearts move on. So there we go. That's actually beautiful to see. Marty Boyle, the Australian... Joining a team, joining a team full of more Australians. Marty Boyle, you love to see it. That's actually huge as well though for Hearts because now they have essentially the entire, like, the entire east section here of Scotland has to come through them. We're going to be heading back to England though. Had a little fun with Scottish football, but Lincoln City's next up. And Lincoln City are going to be heading southwest? Yes. Oh, okay. I see you, Lincoln City. Nerf East. Yeah, they're going to be going down to this little area here that's open. So an upgrade for Lincoln City. Fair play. So their CDM. Aeronon? Aerohon? Aerohon? I'm just going to say Aerohon. Although the H's are probably silent. Aeron. I'm just going to say Aeron. Going up from a 67 to a 69. Don't tell me it's going to be Lincoln City twice in a row. It's going to be Lincoln City for two spins in a row. They can't get any more upgrades. They're gonna have to face a team here. And again, they're gonna be heading southeast. Oh, do we classify that as Northampton or Leicester? Honestly, I've gotta say Leicester because the majority of that is heading southeast. So we're gonna say Leicester versus Lincoln City. I mean, they really got themselves that upgrade at the right time, Lincoln City, because they've given themselves a slightly better chance in this game here against Leicester City. This will be a massive upset if it comes off for Lincoln City, which it it does not. It It's not even close. 5-1. Ironically, though, that's going to make like Leicester City get a slightly better player as well, though it's not a crazy, it's not going to help them in the long term, but they instead of getting a 67 rated player, they get a 69 rated player. We're hitting the Scotland again. It's going to be St. Johnson or Motherwell. It is going to be St. Johnson. And they're going to be heading southeast, which means according to the map that I've used to key this, they're going to get a whole upgrade here. And ironically, like it's funny, like they're going to get this area, but like this also falls into that area. And so does that, but not this one here. It's this whole area here is called Argyle and Butte, I believe. But it all now belongs to St. Johnson. So this Carey fella now finds him upgraded from a 70 to a 72. So I'm saying slow and steady upgrades is going to help a team so much here. But Rotherham or Stoke, it's going to move just over the needle to Stoke City. What direction are the Potters going to be heading? The Potters are going to be heading west or southwest? It's going to be southwest. So there we go. Stoke City are going to be taking on Shrewsbury Town. This game is massive though. This is to protect essentially that whole western part of Wales because if Stoke can get themselves a result here, that's going to open up so much possibility for them. I kind of want Stoke to win this as well. I have a real soft spot for Stoke. One of my best friends from back home is a diehard Stoke fan, so I respect the shit out of him for that. But... It is going to be Stoke City getting the result there in comfortable fashion. It's no huge player, but it's going to be a 68 rated goalkeeper, Marisai, going to Stoke. But like I said, this one is massive because now Stoke City occupied this entire area. Shropshire is Stokes. And if they can get themselves west, a lot of upgrades are, op are options. I'm getting dizzy from looking at the wheel, but is it going to be Stoke again? No, it's not. It's going to be Swansea. That's another massive one. Swansea have an opportunity here for more upgrades. If they can go north, they might get themselves northwest. No, it's going to be northeast. This will be interesting. They might, they've just blocked a lot for a lot of people because Swansea now are going to take this area here. Northeast is this. So they've blocked a path for both Forest Green and Stoke to get an automatic upgrade. And that now means Joel Perrault, the striker, is 77 rated. Oh, we're going to have a Premier League team. Is it going to be Wolves? It is going to be Wolves. They're back in action. They got that win against Burton Albion a little bit before, but they're going to be heading to the north. Oh, yeah. This is going to be good. Stoke versus Wolves. This is a massive one. Stoke trying to defend. The Britannia Stadium, or whatever they call it nowadays. They've actually got the goalkeeper. They they won Morossi into the starting eleven. This could be massive. What 
is the result going to come out as, oh my, whoa, Wolves have absolutely destroyed them. Six goals. That is a goal fest. All right, got both two players that are 73 rated. Who is going to be joining Wolverhampton? It is going to be Pearson. Sorry, Dom. I wanted your boys to do well, but it's not going to be Wolverhampton getting more areas in their name. Oh, it's going to be Southampton here. They can't go south but they can go east. I'm gutted. Originally, this would have been a derby match between Southampton and Portsmouth, but of course, Reading took over their territory. So it's now a match between the Saints and the Royals. Of course, Bernard was brought across from Portsmouth. So he's trying to do, he's trying to do his old team justice. Reading defending homeland, Southampton trying to conquer. And the result is a late win for Southampton. I thought Reading was going to get it done. That would have been unreal. We have five players that could potentially be Southampton players. Who's it going to be? Who's going to be the Southampton player? It is going to be Tom Ince, I believe. I reckon this part of land here is going to be the last one to go, purely because London is still so congested. And you have to like, to own this area, you have to own there, there, all of London and there. So like Wickham. So... It's gonna be a late one. Oh, this is massive Plymouth Argyle. They own a protection slot. If they go west, they're gonna get an upgrade. If they go east, there's gonna be a spot on the line. What does north mean? All right, I've gotta say, north is gonna be Bristol City because east would have been there and north is straight up there. So Bristol City not only could get Plymouth Argyle's best player if they win, but they will also get an upgrade if they beat Plymouth Argyle. And if Plymouth Argyle get the win, they'll beat Bristol. And will they, get, yeah, will they get the upgrade? I suppose so. So this is massive. Bristol City, of course, got Brown from Exeter in their last game, 67 rated, and Vyman is 75 rated. So they'll be pushing for Plymouth Argyle's best player and for Vyman to go up to a 77. This could put Bristol City in a great position, and it will, as Sykes gives them a 1-0 win over Plymouth Argyle. So the goalkeeper, Matt Cooper, will be going up to the championship, headed to Bristol City. And there we go. Vyman is 77 overall. So there we go. This whole corridor now is Bristol City's. Come on, I want a big team to come up. It has been, we have not had many big teams getting involved in today's video. And we're gonna have probably the, actually no, it's Rotherham. I was about to diss QPR, but Rotherham come up. Rotherham are heading to the Northwest, which means they are gonna be going and trying to invade Huddersfield. An all championship affair here. Couple of upgraded players or transferred players in these squads. Who's gonna survive the battle of the championship squads? It is going to be Huddersfield taking down Rotherham 2-1. Trying to sort between Igbonne and Morrison. Who's gonna be going to Huddersfield? It looks like it's gonna be Morrison, yeah. 70 rated center back, send him to Huddersfield. Oh shit, Huddersfield town again? Are they? No, it's gonna go to Hull. Hull getting their first involvement in the game. I'm pretty sure they can't go east because it would be the water, but it's not gonna matter. They're gonna be heading northwest, which means Hull is gonna be taking on Leeds United. Leeds United trying to defend a significant amount of land here as they take on Hull City. It's gonna be a draw and a second leg. Second leg in Hull. Who's gonna survive? It's gonna be Leeds United getting the win after coming from behind. Three-way battle here for what player goes to Leeds United. Pelkas, Carl Darlow, or Seri, and it is gonna be this man, Pelkas. Or oh, is it gonna be Stockport, or it's gonna be Sutton United for the first time in today's video. Sutton United will find themselves heading north. They could have claimed that free land if they went south or southwest or southeast even, but they're going north, which means they're taking on Fulham. I'm nervous, lads. Oh, don't do it like this. Fulham defending Craven Cottage. If we lose to Sutton United, of course we do. Of course we do. Oh, there's not a single upset in this entire video. And then my team goes and loses to Sutton United. Oh my God. Oh, Sutton United have taken down Fulham. That is the biggest upset of the video so far. The FIFA gods are laughing at us. Jao Polinha, arguably the best Fulham signing in half a decade, is headed to Sutton United. Oh, I did not expect the table to be looking like this, lads. Sutton United now own the majority 
of London. Is it gonna be Blackpool or Bristol City? Blackpool holds on by the skin of their teeth and Blackpool are gonna be heading south, which means they're gonna be taking on Preston North End with the way I've laid this all out. Two championship sides that haven't been featured in today's video, facing off for some big players on the line and it's gonna be Blackpool emerging as the winners. A huge scalping for Blackpool they're going to be getting the English goalkeeper, Freddie Woodman, 75 overall. That is massive. We've still got 65 teams remaining. What have I done to myself? This is so long. Oh, Birmingham or Black Blackburn? It's Blackburn, okay. Blackburn are going to be heading southeast. We've got to claim that as Liverpool, lads. It's going to be a massive game. Blackburn versus Liverpool. The 1990s called. They want their mega fixture back. Liverpool with the home field advantage. Please, Blackburn. Please pull off a massive upset. Oh, far Who's going to stop Liverpool? They've had two games in this video and it's a 10 nil aggregate across two games. No surprise, but Brereton Diaz is their highest rated player and he's now headed to Liverpool. Brawley Town or Grimsby, it's going to be Grimsby. It's a name we haven't seen for a while at all, to be honest, in this video. Grimsby are going to be heading to the Southwest. Oh, this could be a big fixture. South West Cool is Port Vale. They got Sander Burge earlier. This could be massive here for Port Vale. They've already got Sander Burge. They should win this game, surely. Let's see how they go. Can they move on? No, they don't! Grimsby Town have upset Port Vale and are going to get Sander Burge into their team. Poor Sander Burge. He slid down the divisions. He's gone from the championship to League One. And now he's off to League Two. Grimsby Town trying to gray out the map here. Come on, give us a big one. We're going to be heading to Scotland. And it's going to be, is it St. Johnson again? St. Johnson again. Unless they get South East, they're going to be getting an upgrade again regardless. You know what? Since that's like East and they can only get East or South East or South. Considering they have so much land going down to here, I'm just going to claim Dundee United as being East. St. Johnson have been one of the busiest teams in the video so far. They've got the 72 rated carry. They've got the Gorta goalkeeper. They've got Dander in their side now. Taking on Dundee United, who I believe are coming last in the Scottish Premiership in real life. We got the Australians of Aziz Bayic and Mark Birigedi in between the sticks. Who's surviving this one? It's going to be Dundee United knocking off St. Johnson. That is massive. And that now means Carey is going to be leaving the club and going to Dundee United. This is about to be aesthetically pleasing. This whole top half of Scotland is now orange. Oh my goodness gracious me. Look at that and look at all the areas they can go. If they get drawn again, they get an automatic upgrade because they can only go south into an unclaimed territory. Unless of course one of these teams here goes like gets drawn and goes north or something like that. Are we gonna have a Premier League team? It's gonna be Wolverhampton again. Wolverhampton are back in action and Wolves are gonna be heading southwest. Oh, let's go, let's go. Wolverhampton versus Swansea, a battle for some serious land in Wales. No doubt about it, we need to watch this one. There is so much land up for grabs and this could really be a game changer because of all the potential upgrades. Oh, they're in here. Potence, Potence off the post. Whittaker, oh, he's not gonna slide it through. He's gonna go himself. Whittaker misses. Sorinola going, are they gonna do it in the 92nd minute? No, they're not, Jose Saw with a clutch save. Penalty shootout here between Swansea and Wolves and Cham is gonna make it one nil to Swansea. Jimenez, the stutter penalty and it's gonna be saved from Bender. Advantage, Swansea, Manning makes it two nil. Oh my God, we could be about to witness something Incredible, Ruben Neves slots his one home. Swansea just need to keep on making their penalties. Patterson's gonna drill that one into the back of the net, straight down the guts. Lamina versus Bender. That's a, that's a class penalty, top left corner. Grimes, the man that could have had some upgrades, is gonna have his penalty saved. And if Poden scores this, it is now all equal. It is sudden death here. Joe Allen is going to slot his, and if Swansea City can save this, they are going to progress and get a massive scalping in this imperialism challenge. Matthias Nunez is going to slot that one. Here we go. Sudden death. Cooper scores that. Who's going to be the hero? 
Bueno versus Bender. Are we going to be saying Bueno to Wolverhampton? Yes, we are! Swansea City continue their run, eliminating Wolverhampton on penalties. That is incredible. What a result. Ruben Neves is now headed to Swansea City. Look at this, lads. We're about to make that whole area gray. Wolves are gone. And Swansea have all of this. And a massive thing to note here, if Swansea get drawn again and they somehow get this area by going, what would that be? That'd be Northwest. Then they'll automatically get these areas as well. Swansea are in a phenomenal position. Actually, even more noticed, if they get drawn again and go directly North, they would get this area here. Actually, no, because they have that land there. Oh, actually, no, what am I talking about? That's even better because if they beat Stockport, they will take this area here, meaning they will automatically unlock this entire part of Wales. Oh my God, Swansea, you're in a good spot. Perot could literally be up to like 90 overall if they just go north and beat Stockport. Holy crap, Swansea City, look at you. Who's up next? It is going to be Southampton or Tottenham. It's going to be Tottenham for the first time. Tottenham not been involved once in today's video, like a lot of the big clubs, and they are going to be going Southwest. So Tottenham are going to be taking on Brentford. Two Premier League clubs yet to feature in this video. Who's going to move on to the next round and who's going to be officially invaded? It's going to be a second leg without Leng Lei. So here we go. Second leg, two all in the first. Who is going to survive? It's going to be Spurs by the skin of their teeth. So Ivan Tony, the striker, heading to Tottenham and then rapidly heading to Ladbrokes. Cambridge United. Okay. Starting to really get some teams we haven't had in today's video, which is nice to see. I mean, now we're getting down to like we're over halfway or just about halfway, but Cambridge heading Northwest, which means they're going to be versing Norwich City because they can't verse Northampton and then Luton's too far west. So it's going to be Norwich versus Cambridge. Norwich already with one win under their belt early on. Not a huge win, but they're taking on Cambridge here. Can they get another set of territories? We're going to have to go to another leg. Cambridge holding their own in that first leg. Can they get it moving in the second leg? No, they do not. Norwich City claims their territory. Not a huge one, but it's still another player. Bennett is headed to Norwich City. Just for a bit of context, lads, this is what the entirety of the map is now looking like. It's nice to be able to actually make out what the words on the spinning wheel are now. That was way too congested early on, but it's going to be Bristol Rovers for the first time. Bristol Rovers are heading southwest. Oh, southwest. West for them is going to be a trip. Wait, no, West. Yeah, Southwest. That's going to be a trip here into Wales. They're going to get themselves an upgrade. I believe that's correct because, yes, yeah, South, Southwest is diagonally down like into that corner and they can't go into the sea. So, but yeah, we're going to say they're going to get themselves an upgrade. So this striker, Collins, is going to go from a 69 up to a 71. Are we heading into Scotland or is it going to be Arsenal? It's going to be Arsenal. Been a while since we've had the Gunners involved in this one, but the Gunners are going to find themselves heading south. You could make a case for them versing either Sutton United, QPR, Crystal Palace, but ultimately, because it's the middle, I'm going to be going Chelsea for a massive game. All right, here we go. At Stamford Bridge, a massive team is going to get conquered and eliminated. Kai Havertz squaring that one, and it's Zakaria giving Chelsea an early lead here. A lovely finish on the volley. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Arsenal are having a mare. Just like that, they are 2 0 down. This is not what I expected. Bakayo Saka on the volley and a Jesus making this a game once again. Half an hour remaining, game on at Stamford Bridge. And there we go, Chelsea hold on and they have eliminated Arsenal, which means Martin Erdegaard is now headed to Stamford Bridge. It would have been quite ironic if Jorginho was their highest rated player and went back to Chelsea. That is a huge scalping right there. Fair play to Chelsea. Oh, they almost got thrown in again, but it is going to be our first trip. I can't believe this. Actually, no, it's not. I was going to say it's our first trip to Merseyside, but we've had Liverpool twice. But Everton, we could have a Merseyside derby or we could have Tranmere Rovers. Regardless, Everton are going to be heading 
East or South East, they're heading East. Which means, yep, they're going to be versing Liverpool in a Merseyside derby. Liverpool have been by far the most impressive team in this video, but that's not saying much given they've played two pretty poor teams. They're playing a pretty poor team, to be fair, at the moment. Now, it's Everton, a Merseyside derby, and the scorelines are one-all draw in the first leg. Can the Evertonians pull off a massive, massive shock here? No, they don't. Mo Salah goes off, gets a hat trick, and kicks out Everton. Meaning Jordan Pickford is about to step over Merseyside lines, and he's going to be the new backup Liverpool goalkeeper. Heading back to the championship, is it going to be Swansea again? No, it's going to be QPR. I was really hoping we could see Fulham versus QPR in this video. Not to be, because Fulham suck. Southwest, it's going to be. Which I believe means they're going to be versing Sutton United. If Sutton United could get another scalp, that would make them the real deal, surely. We know Sutton United have an upset in their locker, but can Lightning strike twice? As they have Jao Polinia in their squad now, taking on QPR. Come on, Sutton! God damn it, Sutton United are out. And you know what hurts me even more as a Fulham fan? QPR are now going to have Jao Polinia. Sick. Oh dear god, that makes me sick to my stomach. Tottenham are gonna be in the action again. It would be sick if they could go south and verse Chelsea. They're gonna be going south, are they? Are they? Yes, Chelsea versus Tottenham. That's correct, Chelsea versus Tottenham. This is a big one for London. I've decided not to watch this one because number one, we watched Chelsea recently and in the last Premier League Imperialism video, I'm pretty sure we watched Chelsea versus Tottenham then, so... Don't want it to get too boring, but we're going to have the game here and it's going to be Chelsea with a 2-0 win. And I'm pretty sure that now means, in fact, yeah, it would. Harry Kane's going to Chelsea again. So Chelsea are about to be the biggest remaining team in London in this experiment. They went from being not really involved in this video to now having so much of London as theirs and getting two big scalps. I would love for some Scottish teams to pop up again. It's been a hot minute, but is it going to be Liverpool or Leicester? Leicester. What direction are the Foxes heading? They're going to be heading northwest, confirmed. Northwest would have to be Grimsby Town, or would it? No, because if I'm going off my rule, if I'm following my own rules of the middle, then it would have to be Nottingham Forest, because obviously, although, I guess no, because For Forest would count as west right there, wouldn't they? So yeah, it would have to be Grimsby Town. Can Grimsby Town and Sander Burge keep the dream alive? Come on, Grimsby. Do it for Port Vale. Do it for all of us. Oh my god, they come so close. But it is going to be Leicester City getting the win. And I think we all knew that this one was coming, but it's Sander Burge who is going to be the man moving clubs, heading back to the Premier League. He's gone from the Championship to League One to League Two, all the way back up to the Premier League. It's unconventional, but I applaud it. I've got to laugh at this one as well. With that result, that means Leicester City have now got Nottingham Forest absolutely surrounded. So if Forest get drawn, we don't even have to draw the direction. We know they'll be versing Leicester. Oh, we're heading back to Wales, are we? No, we're going Northampton. I thought we were going Newport. And for Northampton, their first experience is going to be Northeast. So Northampton are going to be versing Norwich. There's not many underdog teams like in League Two that we can pin our hopes on anymore, really. So this is a big game. Northampton versus Norwich. Who is going to survive? It's going to be Norwich, yeah. I'm sure Norwich are absolutely stoked to be getting 67 rated Hoskins. Come on, give us a Scottish or a Welsh team. Give us somewhere they can get an upgrade. Oh, we're going to be, is it Southampton back in the action room? We're at Birmingham City it's up for the first time. I think regardless of what direction they head, Birmingham City have a tough opponent ahead of them. Northwest. I was actually so wrong. They arguably got the worst case scenario they could have had. There was... Three options where they got upgrades, but no, they now have to verse Aston Villa. Here we go, we're headed to Villa Park. Bragging rights on the line here for the Midlands. The scoreline is going to be a two-all draw. So many teams able to hold bigger opponents to a first leg draw, but can Birmingham City break the trend of these teams losing in the second leg? The scoreline is going to be a 3-2 win to Villa in the 78th minute. That is extremely close, but Villa 
they live on. Between 471 rated players here for who goes to Aston Villa, probably none of them are going to make a difference, but I think it's going to be the American center half trusty that is headed. Birmingham City off the list. And the next team up to bat is going to be Blackpool again, or is it going to be Bristol City, Blackpool, Bristol, Blackpool? Been a while since Bristol City had been involved, to be fair, but Blackpool are the team up, and they're going to be heading south. Oh, no. Blackpool versus Liverpool. Please, Blackpool. Please, 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 please. Blackpool invading Liverpool here, but will they be able to get the result? This is huge. Come on, Blackpool. you got Freddie Woodman in between the sticks. Come on, Blackpool. Oh, no. Piss off, Liverpool. I genuinely can't see anybody beating Liverpool in this. Oh. And Freddie Woodman, they're going to get another goalkeeper. I'm just glad that Liverpool, despite them winning, they're not getting many good players. That That's a real nice one. Let's hope they just keep versing dud teams. To be fair, they're surrounded by more dud teams. Like, the best team they can verse with in one game is Leeds United. Chelsea or Palace, it's going to be Crystal Palace. They're going to be heading north, which I think is Ipswich Town. Yes, it is. Crystal Palace versus Ipswich. This one's for you, Lasty. Of course, Crystal Palace with Declan Rice in their side. This could be massive. Come on, come on, Ipswich. Do it for us. Come on, Ipswich. Ipswich, lose. God damn it. I'm sorry, Lasty, I've let you down. Look, it doesn't really matter who goes to Crystal Palace. None of these guys are going to make the starting 11, so we're just going to send Morsey there. Fleetwood Town, we're getting some random teams, man. There's some random teams still uh, still alive, to be fair. Fleetwood Town are definitely just one of those teams in this video. They're on stealth mode right now, but they're going to be heading east. Oh, no. Oh, Fleetwood, I'm so sorry. You've been hiding in your little corner there. You get drawn upon, and you're going to have to try invading Anfield. Oh, that's funny. I actually love how Liverpool keep getting drawn up against, like, these lesser sort of teams, because if they win, they gain, like, a little bit of land, and it's not going to help them improve in terms of bringing players in, but it's just a further opportunity for them to slip up and get eliminated. Come on, Fleetwood. Be the difference makers. God damn it. I had faith in you, Fleetwood. So much faith. Oh, is it Morecambe? It's Morecambe. I think if they go, I'm hoping, I'm hoping they go south because I know who is south of Morecambe. I think we all know. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. <laughs> it's Morecambe versus Liverpool. Surely this is the time. Liverpool have literally given me no reason to think they're going to slip up against one of these lesser sides, but it's the hope. It's the hope of that happening that gets me through the day. Come on, Morecambe versus Liverpool. Morecambe, do it! Yes! Morecambe have kicked out Liverpool in the 80th minute! Holy shit! Yes! Oh, Morecambe! Oh, they do it with 10 men! They've done it with 10 men! Oh, Stockton, you are a beast! Let's go, Morecambe! <laughs> oh, Mo Salah, Van Dyke, or Alisson? Who's gonna be the man going to Morecambe? Oh, this is this is what I've been dreaming of. Who's it gonna be? It's gonna be Mo Salah in a Morecambe jersey. You absolutely love to see it. Let's go, Morecambe! <laughs> Get out of here, Liverpool! Yes, Liverpool's reign of terror is over. But who is up next? It is going to be Watford. Watford will be heading southwest, which means they're going to be taking on Wickham, another side that have just been flying under the radar all video long. Wickham backs against the wall, fighting to survive here as they take on Watford. The scoreline is going to be a win for Watford. They had a chance to tie it up in the 77th minute, but it's not to be. So it's going to be Alfie Mawson headed to Watford. I know he's just retired in real life, but he's still in the squad update and the squad roster, so that means he's up for grabs. Is it going to be Norwich or is it going to be QPR? I think it's going to be Norwich, yeah. So Watford can only go in the general vicinity of South or West. They could go Southwest. That's fine by me. That'll do. So that means they're going to be facing Leicester City. I'm sure Nottingham Forest are going to be watching this one with great intent, wondering who they're going to be versing eventually down the line, but it's going to be Norwich. Norwich are going to kick off Leicester City, Timu Puki Masterclass. And I think that's going to be a big name player like Madison 
going to the Canaries. So it's gonna be between Tielemans or Madison. That is huge. Didn't Madison used to play for Norwich? That would kind of be nice if he went back there. He does. Madison, if my intelligence, if my mind is correct, is headed back to Norwich City. Next cab off the rank is going to be a League Two side or a lower side. Is it going to be Swindon? No, it's going to be Tranmere Rovers. Tranmere Rovers are going to be headed east, which I'm going to, because like they're not landlocked, but they're close enough. I'm going to say they're going to be playing Morecambe. Mo Salah up top here for Morecambe just looks ridiculous. If Mo Salah loses and goes to Tranmere, that would be absolutely hilarious. But he's not going to. He's going to win 4-1 and gets himself a goal in the process. Morecambe getting more land. And I mean, it's not a game-changing upgrade, but it's still an upgrade to their side here. They got a pretty good upgrade in Dakers Cogley, Morecambe did. Cheltenham Town? Cheltenham Town? Cheltenham Town. Again, they're a side that I have not even thought about for hours. I've been recording this for like six hours. I've not thought of Cheltenham Town's name once. But they're going to be heading south. Where the bloody hell is Cheltenham on a map? Right there. They're, they're going south, which is going to be Forest Green. An absolutely mouthwatering, salivating contest here. Of course, O'Keefe, 67 rated. He's one of the upgraded players for Forest Green. But here we go. Forest Green versus Cheltenham. And it's going to be Cheltenham walking away with the victory, meaning they're going to get O'Keefe. Yeah, the 67 rated right back is heading to Cheltenham. And in the process, they're going to get themselves a nice little bit of land here. And if they can get some northern runs, they might get an okay looking team. I'm not going to go too far and say they're going to be a good team, but they might make things competitive. Well, we've got a big boy coming up potentially. It could be Southampton or Bristol City. It's going to be Southern regardless, but it's Southampton. They're headed southeast, which I, I know exactly what that is. That is going to be Southampton versus Bournemouth. A battle for the South again. Very even contest ahead of us here. A lot of land on the line though. For the South Coast of England, the scoreline between Bournemouth and Southampton is a draw. Come on, lads. Second leg at St. Mary's. The scoreline is a 2-1 win for Bournemouth. Welcome to the show, Bournemouth. Southampton are going to be sending James Ward-Prowse to Bournemouth. That is a deadly option to have. Stockport County or Swindon Town? Swindon Town. A lot of first-timers getting, getting themselves in the show for the first time. Here we go. Swindon Town heading east. Where are you, Swindon Town? There you are. You're heading east, which is going to be Bristol Rovers. This is a huge opportunity because Bristol Rovers also have this area here, which is a lot of upgrades in Wales. It's not exactly a glamorous fixture, but it's huge in terms of ramifications. Collins, the man that we upgraded, 71 upgrade there. So is he going to come in clutch? Charlie Austin up top there for Swindon Town. The scoreline is going to be Bristol Rovers. That man, Collins getting them the result. And there it is, Charlie Austin, fresh off a pretty pathetic move to Brisbane Raw, a pretty pathetic spell in the A-League, is now a Bristol Rover. I'm just mad because I was trying to get the entire South Coast red, but now Bristol Rovers have just gone and ruined that for us. Getting somewhat to the business end of things here, lads, and Watford are up again. Watford will be headed to the north. Oh shit, this is big for them. North of Watford is now Norwich. Again, I'm sure Nottingham Forest are gonna be watching this one. Both championship clubs, but of course, Norwich have got the addition of James Madison in this team. Who's gonna emerge victorious out of the championship clubs? It is going to be Norwich City. Once again, taking up more land. So it's going to be a massive, another massive addition here for Norwich as they get Saar. That is huge. Norwich have got so much land here. It is actually ridiculous. We have not been up to Scotland in a hot minute, have we? Hopefully by me saying we haven't been to Scotland is going to get us up there. I don't think it will though, but it might get us either Leeds United or Man City. It's going to be Leeds. We have not seen Leeds in a minute, but there are so many different directions this could go. Southwest is what we're going to be looking at. Uh, I guess we've got to claim that as Morecambe because this territory is still Leeds United territory. So Morecambe versus Leeds Southwest. If Mo Salah can get Morecambe past Leeds United, that would, uh, I'd be well and truly done. Here we go, Morecambe versus Leeds. Oh my God, he almost did it, but it's going to be Leeds United getting the result. 
No surprises, Mo Salah will be the man headed to Leeds. We need to stand and salute Morecambe though. They got rid of Liverpool and for that, I'll be eternally grateful. Oh, we're gonna have a Scottish team. We're gonna have a Scottish team. It's gonna be Kilmanock. I'm so happy to see some Scottish action happening here. Which direction will Kilmanock be heading? They'll be heading southwest. And luckily for them, southwest has not been claimed, so they are gonna get themselves an upgrade. So for Kilmanock, there's two 66 rated players. Is it gonna be Taylor or Hemming? Taylor's a center back, Hemming is a goalkeeper, and Hemming's the one gonna be getting the upgrade. So there we go, he gets himself an upgrade and gets Kilmanock just a little bit better. We're heading to the championship. It's gonna be Norwich City. This is huge. I legit don't think there's any way they can verse Nottingham Forest in this because there's no middle direction. Like the only time they can face Norwich or they can face Nottingham Forest is Nottingham Forest have to get drawn first, but they're going to be heading Northeast. Do we claim Leeds United as Northeast? I'm going to honestly say no, like that's Northeast there. Leeds count as North. Oh, I think they're going to get him. They're going to get him anyways. They're going to head North. There we go. It's going to be Norwich versus Leeds. This one is massive. A lot on the line for this one. Mo Salah for Leeds United. I'm excited to see him play. And James Madison for Norwich City. Rocker to Salah. Going back. It's Mo Salah in the box. Squaring it to Sinistera. They're passing them to death. That is a beautiful goal from Leeds United. They could have shot on about four or five opportunities before that, but Sinistera is going to give Leeds United the lead. Oh, Mo Salah winning that one. Lucky. He just drives straight past them. Mo Salah, they... That is terrible from Tim Krull. Tim Krull spills the beans, and Rodrigo makes it 2-0 Leeds. Oh, no. Madison. Madison has made it 2-1. Game on here. Puki threw that to McLean and it's 2 all. Oh my god, Norwich have brought it back. Timu Puki feeds it there and it is all level here at Ellen Road. Can there be a hero for Leeds United? Sinistera, back to McKenney. He goes to Bamford and Patrick Bamford is going to break Norwich City hearts. The invasion is complete. And Leeds are going to beat Norwich. Oh my god, that was unbelievable. So it is going to be James Madison making Leeds even stronger. They are going to be a force to be reckoned with. This is about to be super wild. Look at that. Look how much land they've just got. Leeds United, have a day, son. Is it going to be QPR? It is. QPR, I'm still salty that they're doing well. They're going to be heading northwest. Which means QPR... And Chelsea are going to be facing off in a West London derby. Chelsea defending home advantage here. And if I'm being completely honest, I don't care who wins or gets eliminated from this because I don't like either of these teams. But the scoreline, it's going to be a 3-1 win for Chelsea, meaning they now get Jal Polinia. Oh my god, he's getting passed around all of my least favorite clubs. Oh, it's going to be Newcastle United for the first... Or is it going to be Nottingham? No, it's Newcastle United for the first time in today's video. Newcastle and Sunderland, basically the whole northern part of England, have just gone so quiet. They're going east. Yes, tight and weird derby time, baby. Newcastle versus Sunderland at the Stadium of Light. Which side? of the Tyne and Weir Derby will survive. This scoreline here is going to be a two-all draw. 89th minute there for Stewart. All right, return leg at St. James's Park. The scoreline is a 189th minute winner there for Callum Wilson and Newcastle just, they just progress. So Joe Gellhart is the highest rated player at Sunderland. Sorry, sorry Leeds United, he might be on loan to you, but he's now a Newcastle United player. It's going to be Oxford United. How some of these teams are still around is beyond me. Okay, Oxford United. Okay, Rich Lee's favorite team. What direction are you guys heading? They are heading southeast. Southeast means they're going to be facing Bournemouth. Fully expecting James Ward-Prowse to step up here hit a free kick and tell Oxford United that they, he now owns them. It's actually Dominic Solanke that does that. He gets a brace and Bournemouth dispatch of Oxford United. Got a bit too big for your boots there, Oxford. Come on, give us something wild. 
Give us something wild. I would not describe Charlton Athletic as wild. Unless they face somebody huge like a Chelsea and can just destroy them, Charlton Athletic are heading northwest. Oh, it is gonna be Chelsea. Charlton versus Chelsea. Northwest, yeah, cool. Come on, Charlton. Show us what you're made of. Show us that you're... We saw Morecambe take out Liverpool. Surely we can see Charlton take out Chelsea. Please. Come on, Charlton. Damn it! Harry Kane's gonna do it. Kane and Erdegaard, two of the players they added, Charlton's done for. Chelsea getting the tiniest little bit of London there. Oh, it's funny. Is it gonna be Bolton? No, it's gonna be Bristol Rovers. They have an opportunity here though, Bristol Rovers. If they had West to get themselves an upgrade. At least I think that's the case. Let's see what is delivered for them. It's gonna be North, West or North. It's gonna be North. Bristol have themselves a date with Cheltenham. Two upgraded players on either side. O'Keefe for Cheltenham, Collins for Bristol. Who's gonna progress to the next round? It is going to be Cheltenham Town ending Bristol Rovers run and getting a comfortable 2 0 win. Meaning Collins, the upgraded player, is gonna be heading to Cheltenham. He can't get himself upgraded anymore but he's still class. Cheltenham have now set themselves up with a good opportunity to get, the, get, get some movement through Wales. Man United? Man United or Nottingham Forest? It's gonna be Nottingham Forest! No point spinning the wheel because we know they are already gonna face Leeds United. They are fully surrounded. This game could be unbelievably huge because if Nottingham Forest win, they're gonna get Mo Salah. If Leeds win, they're gonna get themselves a cheeky little Kalor Navas, which would be exactly what the doctor ordered. That would turn them into a serious contender in my opinion. Here we go though, at Ellen Road, Leeds versus Nottingham Forest, and it's gonna be Leeds United coming away with another win. They've got Madison, they've got Sulla, and now they're gonna have Kalor Navas. If you're Leeds United right now, you just want the big teams around you to start collapsing. You collect on the scraps, and Leeds could seriously be the winners of this. But there we go, this whole area has been fully consumed by Leeds United. Swansea, Swansea! Hello Swansea, it's been a while. So if you're Swansea, I just checked the map. You basically don't want anything that is east. <laughs> they're gonna get north? Okay, they're gonna get north. I thought they were about to get east. So what I'm gonna say, considering like you've got that, like the middle of it, north is like, like the center's probably around here. So north is Stockport County which is huge. Because if they win this game, then they're gonna get all of these counties here. And if Stockport County win this game, then they're gonna get all the counties. No, this is the biggest game so far. This is huge. Paul Mullins in here for Stockport. Perot 77, Ruben Neves as well for Swansea City, but the upgrades for Swansea would still go to Perot because you can't upgrade transferred players. And the upgrade for Stockport would not go to Paul Mullins because he's a transfer as well. Here we go, this is massive. Stockport versus Swansea, it's a draw. All right, second leg here is home for Swansea City. And the scoreline, it's another draw. They're both hanging on here, lads. The third leg is going to be, it's another draw. Oh, none of them want it. Surely we're not gonna have four two all draws in a row. Surely not. Okay, Swansea City have won it. I saw the two and I thought it was gonna be another two all draw. That is. That is unbelievable, but Swansea City have just had a massive result there. So Bardley and Mullen, Phil Bardsley and Paul Mullen are both 67 rated. Who's gonna be the one joining Swansea? It's gonna be Paul Mullen. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna give the, the area to Stockport, the area Stockport County occupied. That's gonna go to Swansea now, but that's also gonna mean that they're gonna get all of these areas. So I'm gonna count this up as I go. So two points, four points, six points, 8 points, 10 points, 12 points, 14 overall points for Piro. Oh my god. And that now means Piro is 91 rated. That is that is unreal. I mean, look how much land Swansea City now have. That is that's wild. All right, following that madness, next team up to bat. Is it going to be Swansea again? It's going to be Swansea again. I don't know what to expect here. It's going to be east. Swansea are headed east. Okay, so the middle point of the map's probably about there. We're going to go east. We're going to say Aston Villa. Are we saying Villa or are we saying Warsaw? I'm going to say Aston Villa. That could have really gone any way though, to be fair. 
You can make a case for Leeds, you can make a case for Warsaw, Villa, you can make a case for this little area here, but I think Aston Villa is right in the middle. This is going to be huge. At Villa Park, 91 Piro and 83 Neves versus a pretty balanced Aston Villa team. Here we go. The scoreline. Oh my god, they've upset them. Oh my god. Aston Villa beat Swansea. They end the fairy tale run. And that now means Piro, 91 rated Piro, is heading to Villa Park. Oh my. And the finalists from the Premier League episode now find themselves in a very strong position with a now 91 rated Piro. They've also just gained so much land here. I'm sorry to my Welsh listeners, but Aston Villa are now the majority owners of Wales. Cardiff and Newport have been quiet. Oh, is it going to be Man United or Man City for the first time? For the first time in this video, we have one of the big two Manchester clubs. I was wondering when they were going to pop up. Manchester United are headed southeast, which I think means they're going to be facing Aston Villa. Oh my god. It's going to be a replay of the Premier League Imperialism final. That 91 rated Piro card is on the line in this game. A lot of land as well. It's a replay of last video's final. Who's going to be the winner today? It's going to be Manchester United. No! Manchester United, Rashford getting a brace, and now with Perot, they're going to be so strong. I hope Perot hasn't got himself comfortable in Villa, because he's gone from Swansea to Aston Villa, now to Manchester United within two games. Wow, Man United have really gone from having this tiny little section of land to now having all of this. 30 teams remain. We're into the business end. Is it going to be Manchester United again? Two games in a row for Man United. And Manchester United are going to be heading southeast. So east would obviously be Leeds United, but southeast could honestly be Cheltenham, empty area one, empty area two, or even Coventry. Honestly, I think you could make a case for all four of these. So we're going to go to the wheel. All right. Where are they heading? The wheel will decide that they're going to be taking on Coventry. Not much for Manchester United to gain from this one, but everything to lose. Come on, Coventry City. Their first involvement in today's video. Can they cause a massive upset? It's going to be a draw. Rashford saves them in the 86th minute. Oh my God. Here we go. Second leg away at Old Trafford. And the scoreline is going to be a 2-0 win for Manchester United. More area for them. And the massive pickup to their midfield of Heimer. Look at Walsall. They are just completely surrounded by Manchester United right now. Or oh, is it going to be Newport for the first time? Or is it going to be Salford? It's just going to tick over into Salford City. We couldn't hit the Manchester clubs to save our lives. And now that's all we're getting. They're going to be heading southwest. Ha! <laughs> Southwest for Salford City is going to be Manchester United again. I feel the same way about these types of games like I did with Liverpool. I don't mind Manchester United getting to face teams like Salford City because the upset is on the cards. They don't have anything to gain from it, but they have everything to lose. Man United versus Salford City, and it's going to be a 3-2 win. Oh, they're just hanging on. I mean, they're dominating, but they're just hanging on regardless. Okay, it's going to be Newport County this time. They finally get their first time in the video. And they are going to be heading north. Oh, are we calling that an upgrade or are we calling that Cheltenham? If I'm being totally honest, I think because that's the middle about there and you head directly up, I think it's going to be Newport versus Cheltenham. Cheltenham have already had a phenomenal episode. They have gained so much land. They've got 71 rated Collins and 67 rated O'Keefe. Are they going to defend homeland and continue their move into Wales against Newport County? No, they're not! Cheltenham Town have fallen and Newport County have got a massive win in their back pocket. Which means 71 rated Collins is changing clubs again. He's heading down to League 2, heading to Newport County. Wow, Newport County have just gained themselves a lot of land here. Not only have they got themselves into England, but they've also defended Wales and kicked out an invader. Now Manchester United is the only foreign club in Wales. To be honest, if they come up again and they keep going west, 
they could get some mad upgrades to their side. But it's also dangerous because if they get matched up against Manchester United, then there's a chance for Man United to conquer the entirety of Wales. Well, we're heading back to Scotland and it's going to be Hearts again, is it? Are they going to hang on? Yes, it's going to be Hearts. It has been a hot minute since Hearts have been involved, but they're going to be heading southwest, which means they're going to be trying to invade Kilmanock here. Hearts are trying to invade Kilmanock. Of course, Hearts have added Marty Boyle and they've got an upgrade to their goalkeeper, Gordon who's now 76 rated, hemming their goalkeeper for Kilmanock up to a 68, who is going to survive. It is going to be a draw. Second leg, Hearts of the home team this time. Who's moving on? It's going to be Hearts in the 77th minute. Hearts are going to get another goalkeeper to the side, the upgraded man, Hemming, heading to Edinburgh. So now with that, basically any side in Scotland that wants to head south towards England have to go through Hearts now. That is hilarious. Or oh, is it going to be Man City or Man United? It's going to be Man United again. The Red Devils, are they heading southeast? They are. I think I know what that means. Southeast has to mean Newport County. Oh no, this is, this is genuinely massive. Newport have a chance though to save Wales. Okay, this could be massive. This is for a large chunk of Wales. Five star Man United versus one star Newport County. What is the scoreline going to be? It's a 3-2 win for United. That Perot is just so overpowered. Oh God, Manchester United's domination is going to continue. Now they're back. They've got two territories of Wales, two entrance paths. If they end up playing Cardiff City and beating them, then they're gonna win all of these territories here, which could just be unstoppable. We're gonna be heading to Scotland again. Is it gonna be Hearts? Hearts or St. Mirren? It's gonna be Hearts again. A serious opportunity for them to get some upgrades or take more control of Scotland. They're gonna be heading north. Okay, so they can be, all right, I'm gonna say, so that's the middle, that's the middle. Are we gonna say that one? Are we gonna say, are we gonna I think it might be Rangers, honestly, or Motherwell. No, I think it's gotta be Rangers because they are like basically the middle team there. So Rangers versus Hearts, this is huge. There are no doubts about it. We need to watch this one. Hearts trying to invade the Ibrox, trying to invade a part of Glasgow. This could be monumental. Rangers on the attack here. Tillman playing that one to Morelos. Morelos going to Tillman and it's going to be Rangers taking the lead 22 minutes into this game. Here we go. Ryan Ken going to Jack and it's 2-0 Rangers. Hearts, are you watching? This is why you shoot. Rangers AI are so much better than Hearts right now. Hearts have been utterly embarrassed there. What a pathetic performance the AI has done them dirty, but Rangers with a massive scalp. Hearts have put in a valiant effort in this video, but they are eliminated and it's gonna be Gordon heading to Rangers. And just like that, the path towards Northern England has changed and Rangers finding themselves as the team to pass through. Oh shit, is it gonna be Middlesbrough? Or is it gonna be Luton? Oh, Luton hanging on by the skin of their teeth. Luton Town will be heading west. So it will be Luton Town, west taking on Bournemouth. Although, could you make a point for the midpoint being like there, which means they'll be taking on Leeds United. I genuinely think the middle point is actually against Leeds United and Southwest would have been Bournemouth. So they're going to be facing Leeds United here. Leeds United have assembled one of the best teams in the video so far. They've got Mo Salah, James Madison and Kaylor Navas, but they're trying to defend home turf here against Luton Town. The scoreline is a 3-0 win. They're going to take over another territory and Mo Salah remains at Ellen Road. That would have been a bit of a giggle though if Mo Salah went to Luton Town. So Marvellous Nakamba is gonna be the man heading to Leeds United. That's not bad at all. God damn, Leeds United have so much territory. They just wind all the way up. Okay, Carlisle United, I see you. What direction will you be heading? They will be heading further north. So that is actually gonna be an upgrade and a path into Scotland for Carlisle United, the first team from outside of Scotland to enter. That's gonna be the middle point, so they're gonna have this whole region here, which means their center midfielder Moxon is going to go from a 66 up to a 68. Back to the wheel we go and the next team is going to be, is it going to be Leeds United? It is. This could be massive. Leeds United are going to be heading west. Okay, so they have the top there and the bottom there. So the middle points around there. It's going to be Leeds versus Manchester United. 
This is the biggest game of the video so far. Leeds versus Manchester United. Nah, I'm gassed for this. This, like, yeah, whoever wins this game is gonna have the majority of the land in the entirety of the UK. They're also gonna get either 91 rated Perot or 89 rated Mo Salah. That is cooked. Madison with the heel to heel. Madison going there to Rodrigo. Madison, shoot it! Madison's gonna give Leeds United the lead in the 43rd minute. Oh my god, what a goal. There we go, lads. Leeds United have done it. That is a massive win. And they have now surely put themselves in such a strong spot in this experiment. Wow, wow, wow. Leeds United have just got themselves a 91 rated striker in Piro. That is monumental. Oh, this is about to be so satisfying. Watch this, lads. Bang, bang, bang. Leeds United now have so much territory to call their own. Also, Leeds United, if they manage to beat Walsall and Bournemouth here, that's going to be two more upgrades in there for them. And if they beat Cardiff, of course, that's like seven or eight upgrades. Is it going to be Celtic? I think it's going to be Celtic here. Another massive club that we have not seen in today's video. They're going to be heading northwest. Is it going to be an old firm derby? No, it is not. It is going to be an upgrade here. For Celtic, now Northwest for them, it's probably this one here, or is it this one? It's an upgrade regardless, to be fair. We're gonna give it this area here because that's the corner. Doesn't matter though, they're getting an upgrade regardless. So Callum McGregor is their highest rated player. He's now 77, but he's gonna find himself upgraded to a 79. All right, we're gonna have Middlesbrough for the first time in today's video. They find themselves heading Southwest, which is going to be Leeds United. Leeds United have found themselves going from being the Hunters to the Hunted. Look how good their team looks. They're taking on a decent Middlesbrough team though who are in a great run of form in real life. The scoreline is a 2-0 win. Leeds United, move on. And they're gonna have another goalkeeper. They're not gonna need him, but it's gonna be Zach Steffen joining them on the ride. Oh shit, it's gonna be Celtic again. Are Celtic gonna find themselves with another upgrade or are they gonna get a matchup here? They're gonna be heading southeast, which means it's gonna be an old firm derby. Celtic versus Rangers. Oh, this is huge. Here we go, this is massive. This is for Glasgow and even a lot more area as well. Edinburgh, all of that. It's an old firm derby. It's Celtic invading the Ibrooks here. Who is gonna emerge as the winner? It is gonna be Rangers. Rangers have taken down Celtic and they're also gonna get themselves Callum McGregor, the 79 rated Callum McGregor. That's massive. Celtic have been officially eliminated from this imperialism video. Down to our final 20 teams and Cardiff City. Oh my, this is massive. Cardiff City. So if they head east, they're gonna be facing Leeds United. If they head northeast, they're gonna be facing Leeds United, but anywhere else is an upgrade for the Bluebirds. Wait, I don't even have east on this board. I'm a dumbass, lads. I've just realized. So I started recording because I took the night, like, because I recorded like eight hours yesterday. I didn't even put east on the bloody board. I've only noticed that and I've played like seven or eight games today. I apologize. I don't even have south. What the fuck am I doing? Holy shit. I apologize about that. Oh my god, I knew I was forgetting something when I loaded it up this morning. Of course, of course. Our first time having East on the board, and that is what comes up. Gonna be Cardiff City versus Leeds United. Oh, this is huge. Leeds United, not only defending Ellen Road, but trying to make their team almost unbeatable. This is huge for them. Leeds United versus Cardiff City. The scoreline is going to be a 1-0 win. Mo Salah eliminates the Bluebirds and gives a lot of upgrades here for Leeds United. So it's going to be Callum Robinson heading to Leeds United, which isn't a massive pickup. The bigger news is going to be the amount of territories that now belong to Leeds United. They own Cardiff officially, but they have surrounded this entire area. So they're going to get 2, 4, 6, 8, whoa, 10, 12, 14, 16 upgrade points to one of their players. And Leeds United officially control the entirety of Wales. So of course, they've got like a bunch of players they've gained from picking up territories, but those guys aren't eligible for the upgrades. It can only be the highest initial rated player, which is Sinistera. Sinistera is now 96 overall. They gain eight territories and get plus 16 growth 
for Sinistera. This is unbelievable. Leeds United have got to be one of the teams to beat right now. But we're going to take it down a peg. It's going to be Carlisle United once again. Carlisle United, of course, the only English team, the only team to enter Scotland. And they're going to be heading further north as they go northeast. Northeast for them is another upgrade. Carlisle United sneaking behind the scenes and getting themselves another upgrade. When are we going to see Manchester City as well? They're just chilling in Manchester for the entire video. So there we go, Moxon up to a 70 overall. Is it gonna be Man City's debut? It is gonna be Manchester City's debut. This could go really either way. They could be versing Bolton or they could be versing Leeds United. They're gonna be heading south, which means Manchester City are versing Leeds United. Oh my. Man City thrown into the thick of it to begin here. They've got a really good side. So do Leeds United. I don't know which way this one's gonna go. The score line, it's a nil-nil draw. Oh my God. Second leg here, away at the Etihad Stadium. What's the score line gonna be? It's gonna be Leeds United! Leeds United have eliminated Manchester City. They've done both sides of Manchester. Oh my God. I think they're gonna get Kevin De Bruyne. Yeah, there it is, Kevin De Bruyne is headed to Leeds United. They just get stronger and stronger. It might only be a small section of land here, but it is a huge significance. Carlisle, Carlisle, Carlisle's up again. I swear, if they get more upgrades, that is gonna be, that's gonna be pretty fun to see. They're gonna be heading southwest. No, they're not, they can't be heading southwest. They're heading into the sea, I guess. Northeast. They're gonna be heading north, which I mean, where's the middle mark? The middle mark's probably there going, yeah, it's, they're gonna get another upgrade. Jeez Louise. Actually, wait, if, oh, is it there or is it Rangers? I genuinely think it might be Rangers because I was thrown off because of this section here, but they've got all this area here and the midpoint probably, I'm just going to go from there to there is probably around here. So it's going to be Rangers versus Carlisle United. So for the first time in today's video, we're going to have an English side taking on a Scottish side who is going to emerge victorious Rangers or Carlisle United, it is Rangers in the 89th minute. That is so close for comfort, but Rangers are now gonna find themselves as the first Scottish team to enter English territory. So Rangers taking over a significant piece of land there. And I've just realized they've cornered a territory. Rangers are gonna get a plus four upgrade to their highest rated initial player. So that's gonna be their captain, James Tavernier, who's currently 78 rated and gets himself a monumental upgrade to 82. Things are definitely getting pretty spicy now though. Gonna move on and it is gonna be Bolton for the first time. Welcome Bolton, good to see you lads. Unless they go east, Bolton have a date with destiny against Leeds United. They're heading west, they're gonna be facing Leeds United. This could definitely be a bit of, be a, bit of a banana skin game here for Leeds United. They should be demolishing Bolton, but can Bolton Stop the dynasty in progress. It is gonna be a late win there for Leeds United. Piro in the 83rd minute. Fair play to Bolton, they've held their own, but Leeds United get another territory. Oh shit, welcome back Chelsea. It's been a minute. Who you got Chelsea? What direction are you heading? What direction are you heading Chelsea? Chelsea are gonna be heading southeast, which means it's gonna be Chelsea versus Crystal Palace. Okay, the battle for the two remaining London sides. It has been a hot minute since we have seen either of these sides. Crystal Palace defending home turf. Chelsea trying to invade and imperialize. Who is gonna come away? It is gonna be Chelsea in the 74th minute. Kukurea helping them take over Crystal Palace. A huge scalp for Chelsea as well. The strong get stronger. They now have Declan Rice. Chelsea now have this entire Southeast corner of England to themselves. Oh, is it gonna be Dundee United? Yes, we're heading to the top of Scotland again for Dundee United. They're an interesting one because they can only head south. And if they head south, like the middle, it, they're only able to claim this territory here because yeah, like they can't. So I'm just gonna give them the upgrade if that makes sense. So of course they do have Carey, who is their player that they got through winning, but he can't be upgraded. So it's gonna be a three-way tie between Fletcher, 
Dylan Levitt or the Australian Aziz Bayic. So let's go see who's going to get the upgrade. Who's going to be 71 rated? Is it going to be the Australian? Yes, Aziz Bayic getting himself an upgrade. Burnley. Burnley, Burnley, Burnley. Nice to see ya. So for Burnley, East or Southeast gonna get them Huddersfield. Anywhere else would get them Leeds. Gonna be West. They're gonna be taking on Leeds United. The funny thing is, Leeds United are just minding their own business at the moment. It's everybody else trying to start crap with them. Regardless though, this is to take over Burnley. Leeds United are gonna do it 2-0. Mo Salah with a brace. That's another area conquered for them. It's not gonna be an upgrade for the squad regardless. So I'm just gonna send Brown Hill across there to Leeds United. I was hoping for their sake, that they could get themselves the defender in because that's where they're really like missing out right now. Heading back to Scotland, is Dundee United up again? Dundee United are up again. So they're in a weird spot again where they can only get upgrades to their, like they can only go to their southern border because like whilst that kind of looks southwest, that is still like south. Like southwest for them would be out there. Southeast for them would be out there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let, let the wheel... God, I can't talk. I've been recording for so long. But I'm going to let the wheel decide their fate right now. So they can get either an upgrade in four separate areas or ranges or Motherwell. They're going to be taking over territory number two for another upgrade, which would be this one right here. Congrats, Bayich. You're now 73 rated. Okay. Hartlepool United heading up north. And Hartlepool United are going to be heading south. Oh, shit. They've got Leeds United. Oh. Again, another banana skin opponent here for Leeds United. Hartlepool, their debut in the imperialism video is trying to take down the big dogs. But again, Mo Salah stepping up clutch and eliminating another team. Leeds United starting to creep closer and closer. Whoa! There we go, get them out of here. But they're starting to get closer and closer towards Scotland. It's going to be Motherwell. Motherwell are next up. Have Motherwell been involved in the video so far? I genuinely don't think they have, but they're going to be heading north, which I think might be against Dundee United. Yep, Motherwell, they have stayed in their lane the whole video, but they're going to be trying to take down a huge chunk of the country and trying to take down Dundee United. You know what I've just realized looking at this map? Dundee United deserve some more upgrades because they have these areas all as their own. I'm really glad I noticed that before the game. So we're gonna give these to Dundee United. I feel like it might have been able to do that for quite a while now, but we're gonna give Bayich another plus four upgrade. Here we go, 77 rated Aziz Bayich, 72 rated Carey, trying to take down Motherwell and move further south into Scotland. Dundee versus Motherwell, and it is Dundee continuing their reign of terror over Scotland. A sentence that will probably never be muttered. And it's gonna be the goalkeeper, Kelly, headed to Dundee United. Leeds United again. What direction are they heading? They're gonna be heading southeast. I think that's gonna be Chelsea. It is, we've gotta say, southeast is Chelsea. Leeds United versus Chelsea. This is monstrous. This has got to be the biggest challenge for both of these teams. Leeds United versus Chelsea. Leeds have had some big scalps in both Manchester clubs. They've been featured so heavily, but who will progress and defend their land? It's going to be a draw. <laughs> Can't separate these sides. We're off to a second leg at Ellen Road. And the winner is going to be Chelsea. Chelsea have ended Leeds United's mammoth run. And they're also going to get a 96 rated Sinistera in the process. That is, that is a game changer. Can we just take a moment to stand and applaud the efforts of Leeds United? Look how much area they occupied. But it pains me to say this, that area now all belongs to Chelsea. St. Mirren, another Scottish side that we have not seen yet. For St. Mirren, it is either Rangers or an upgrade. Three possibilities of being an upgrade, one of it being Rangers, and I think it's gonna be an upgrade. Nah, it's gonna be Rangers, I was wrong. North is there, it's St. Mirren versus Rangers. Rangers looking to take over more of Scotland here. Keanu Bacchus in the squad for St. Mirren, the former Western Sydney Wanderer. But the scoreline in this all Scottish affair is going to be a 1-0 win there for Rangers. McGregor, the man they stole when they invaded Celtic, is going to be the man of the match and the winner. Meaning it's going to be Tony Watt. Tony Watt is heading to Rangers. Celtic fans, close your eyes now. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit of water. Like, that's not touching land. They don't share a border, these two places. So Rangers 
are officially about to get plus six upgrades to another player. I think it's going to be, no, it'll be, it'll be Tavernier, won't it? Because they have now landlocked all of this area. Uh-oh, it's going to be Rangers again. And they're going to be heading east, which is going to be another upgrade here. They're going to get this land right there in England. James Tavernier is about to be 90 rated. Oh my God. Hello, Bristol City. It has been a while. They're going to be heading north. I already know what that is. Bristol City, north for them is going to be Chelsea. Please, Bristol, we are all praying on you. Please, Bristol City, you've had a few upgrades. You got Cooper in there. You got Vyman in there. Please do what everybody wants you to do. Please take Sinistera away from Chelsea and please claim some land. No! It's gonna be Reese James, and of course, Sinistera had to go and score. Chelsea win 2-1, and they're gonna go and take Vyman. One of the first upgrades in this video, Vyman is headed to Chelsea. Who is gonna be the team to stop Chelsea? They now dominate this map. We're into the top 10 though, ladies and gentlemen. Next team up is gonna be Huddersfield, and there is no team Huddersfield can face Besides Chelsea, please be a banana skin. Please be a banana skin. Huddersfield, please. I've never, do it for Aaron Moy. Do it for Aaron Moy. No, they were in the lead and Harry Kane's won it for Chelsea. Oh, Rangers. Hello, hello Rangers. Rangers are heading west, which I know means only one thing. Rangers are gonna get themselves another upgrade and they're gonna take this little island over here, which means Tavernier is now 92 rated. Cool. Newcastle United, one of the only remaining massive teams. Newcastle United's up to bat. It's either going to be Rangers or Chelsea that they versed. South means they're versing Chelsea. Newcastle have only been involved in this video one time, and that was when they took down Sunderland. What an emergence back into the limelight this could be. Newcastle. Oh, please, Newcastle. Please, Newcastle. Please, Oh, Newcastle United are out. Chelsea just gets stronger and stronger. So it is going to be Kieran Trippier heading to Chelsea. This isn't what I expected the final six to be looking like, but here we are. Is it going to be Dundee or Bournemouth? It is going to be Bournemouth. Bournemouth are going to be heading Northmouth. And that means Bournemouth got this area upgraded. You love to see it. So their goalkeeper, Norbeto Nato, is going to go from an 80 to an 82. Oh, Rangers, welcome back, Rangers, welcome back. They could verse either Dundee, Chelsea, or Barrow, but they can't go east. Are they gonna go south or north? They're gonna go north, which means it's gonna be Dundee. So this is for the Battle of Scotland. Is it going to be Dundee United or Rangers controlling this territory? Battle of Scotland. A 92 rated Tavernier in this game against a 77 rated Aziz Bayic. Who's going to survive on their team and who's going to be transferring? This is for Scottish imperialism and it is Rangers. Callum McGregor once again stepping up clutch for them. Rangers own Scotland. And that now means Aziz Bayic is headed to Rangers. That right there is a sight to behold. Rangers. Ch oh my god. A lot of blue on this map. And then there's just little old Walsall still not being touched. Bournemouth again. Welcome back to the show. Here we go. Bournemouth will be heading northwest, which means they're going to be facing Chelsea. This is huge. If Chelsea get this game, whoever gets this game is going to get this unclaimed territory as well. The final two remaining Premier League teams, Bournemouth trying to shock the world and invade Stamford Bridge. It's Bournemouth versus Chelsea. The scoreline is a 3-1 win. Oh! And that means Norbeto Nato is headed to Chelsea. Not only does that mean Nato is headed to Chelsea, but Chelsea occupied this land so their highest rated player is about to get an upgrade, which means we're gonna have to upgrade the nicest man in sports, N'Golo Kante from an 88 to a 90 overall. To be fair, that's where he belongs. Oh, Crawley Town or Warsaw? Crawley Town or Warsaw? Crawley Town's involved for the first time. So they can go basically anywhere but south. They're gonna go west. Please, Chelsea. I mean, please, no, 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 no. Not please, Chelsea. Please, Crawley Town. Go west and give us the miracle. This Chelsea team is unbelievable, and I have little to no faith that this is going to be nothing but an absolute demolition job. But if Crawley Town can get the job done here, this would be one of the biggest upsets in channel and football history. <gasps> nah. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. 
3 nil. What the fuck? What the fuck? I promise you guys, I don't know how I can prove it. Please let me know if I can. I did not rig this in any way. I did not cheat in any way. I did not replay this game a hundred times in any way. This was legitimately the first time that I simulated this game and Crawley Town, Crawley Town have just beaten Chelsea. This is wide open again. Sinistera is gonna go to, Ch to Crawley Town. 96 rated Sinistera is headed to Crawley Town. Holy fuck. Oh my God. Oh my God. Fuck off Chelsea. Let's go Crawley Town. Oh my god! They're also gonna get a plus two upgrade to their lowest rated player because they now own this territory. I genuinely did not expect that to happen. Crawley Town now own almost all of England. They own all of Wales. And it is between Crawley Town, Walsall, Barrow, and Rangers for UK imperialism. So Crawley Town's goalkeeper, Schofield, is gonna go from a 66 up to a 68. So uh, that has just blown this completely wide open. The final four teams out of 100 and however many, and Crawley Town, are they up again? Are they up again? Crawley Town are up again. So I'm gonna say for simplicity's sake, North is gonna be Rangers. North East is going to be Barrow. It's taking too long on the, on the normal wheel. I'm just gonna do North or North East here and see which one pops up to save some time. North East. So Barrow versus Crawley Town. Sinistera, is he gonna be the hero for Crawley Town? I don't know what to expect from this game. It's a draw. Second leg, Crawley's home this time. The score line, it's another draw. All right, third leg here, lads. Crawley Town or Barrow, what is it gonna be? It is Barrow eliminating Crawley Town. The upsets continue coming. Sinistera is about to be transferred to Barrow. Barrow have just been up in this corner the whole game and now bang, they own so much of the footballing universe. Three teams remain, I can't believe I'm saying this, it's Walsall, Barrow and Rangers and Walsall are gonna be in it. Walsall have not been touched the entire video and they're in the final three, that is hilarious. And of course the only team they can face is Barrow, they are surrounded. Here we go, for a spot in the final, who is Rangers gonna be versing? For a spot at UK Imperialism Glory, Barrow or Walsall, the scoreline is going to be one all. We're gonna have to wait another game to find out, God's sake. Leg two, Walsall at home. The scoreline is another draw. These teams love to draw. All right, loading it up again. I'm glad I saved that one. It is gonna be in the second leg. In the second leg, Barrow are gonna get the win. It's gonna be Barrow versus Rangers in the final. I can't believe I'm saying that. Let's just go with the defender here. Monty is gonna be transferred to Barrow. They need all the help they can get. Fair play to Walsall for surviving under the radar for that long, but they're gonna be eliminated and it is going to be Barrow versus Rangers in this final. All right, I'm gonna spin the wheel here to see who the home team is gonna be. Whoever it lands on is the home team and it's gonna be Barrow as the home club. But here we go, lads. The controller is down. It is all up to the CPU now. Who is going to claim UK imperialism, the most unexpected final you could have asked for? Barrow in here. Whoa, it's fallen to them beautifully. They shoot and Barrow have got the lead. What a rocket of a finish. Barrow have taken the lead 13 minutes into this game. Gordon, what a rocket. Oh, Ryan Kent, heel to heel. Ryan Kent, what a save from Farman. Corner for Tavernier. It goes to Jack. Oh, it's a big save off the crossbar. Morelos in the box here. Morelos back healing it. What a save, this keeper is having the game of his life. Waters in the box. Going back there to Neil, and it's gonna be 2-0 Barrow. Oh my God. Barrow are 2-0 up against Rangers. Could this be the biggest upset in channel history? Big tackle there. Jack feeding that one there to Morelos. Rangers need something early in this second half. Ryan Kent in the box. Ryan Kent's gonna square it. Oh, it's almost an own goal. McGregor driving through here for Rangers. They've dominated the second half. They're gonna go there to Sakala. Fashion, 
Squares it. Morelos, huge block from Monty, but they get the follow up. And it's McGregor making it game on here. 18 minutes to go. McGregor driving through here for Rangers. McGregor, he scored so many of their goals. Scored one in this game. Can he get a huge one? It's a block, it's a follow up, and it's Lindstrom. John Lindstrom is gonna tie this up in the 88th minute for Rangers. Are we headed to a penalty shootout? One minute to play here. Sinistera, can he do it? Sinistera, heel to heel. Gordon, through to Sinistera. Why are you taking a step backwards? Go forward for God's sakes, but it is gonna be a penalty shootout to decide this mammoth video. Here we go, Gordon versus Gordon. Who's gonna be the better Gordon? It's Barrows, Gordon. Gordon giving them the lead. Tavernier, the captain, 92 rated, is gonna dink it down the middle. Neil versus Gordon. It is still advantage Barrow. Alfredo Morelos needs to score this one and he's gonna drive it in the bottom corner. Nobody missing a beat so far. Whitfield versus Gordon for Barrow and it's straight up the middle. The keeper falling flat on his ass there. McGregor versus Farman. McGregor sends him the wrong way. Who's gonna blink first? Sinistera, 96 rated Sinistera is the man that misses. You can't ride it any better. And Jack, he's gonna miss. Oh my God. Waters, Waters. Okay, this is to save the game for Rangers. Sakala versus Farman for UK imperialism. The crowd is going wild and it is going to be saved. Barrow have won the United Kingdom imperialism. 117s began, but it is going to end with Barrow being the best of them all. Oh my God. This was a mammoth of a video, probably gonna be the longest I ever make in my career. If you guys ever decide to leave a like or subscribe on one video, this is the one lads. Thank you if you sat through this entire video. That is that is a testament to yourselves. Oh, it's been Jared HD here. I'm gonna go sleep for a month. I'm out, peace.